Hello, in this video we will discuss about how Dubai become so rich and prosperous city. As per data, Dubai is growing quickly and are expected to break into top 20 by 2030. UAE is a federation of seven emirates. These seven emirates are almost like states. They work autonomously within the federation. Despite just being 35 square kilometers in area, Dubai has evolved from being a barren desert to one of the wealthiest city in the world. Now, the question is how did this little city of Dubai manage to achieve this? Before oil was discovered in the year 1950, the UAE's economy was dependent on fishing and a decline pearl industry. But with the discovery of the black gold, this sandy desert transformed into a modern age metropolis. But discovery of oil was bittersweet because if you look at the oil reserve in the Emirates, you will realize that while Abu Dhabi has 92.2 million barrels of oil, Dubai has only 4 billion barrels. So it's not like that they had infinite wealth. So the ruler who lived in a remote barren desert realized that they must do something before all the oil runs out. While on one side they started making a lot of money selling oil. On the other side they started identifying the important strength of Dubai that could be love to build a diversified economy and at present most of Dubai's GDP is non-oil based. So now let's understand the other factors which makes Dubai a diversified economy. Firstly, Dubai benefits from its location. It is situated at a strategic crossroad between Europe, Africa and Asia. This makes it an ideal location for business. So practically, Dubai was so strategically located that it could give unparalleled access to some of the most critical regions in the world, both through sea and air. This is the reason why Sheikh took a super bold project called Jebel Ali Port. This started in the late 1970s and created a deep water port. This port also provided cooling service with advanced storage facilities. And today, the Jebel Ali port is the ninth busiest port in the world. Secondly, after the maritime industry, the Sheikh built the second important asset for the economy of Dubai, which was a free zone. In simple term, free trade zones in Dubai are special economic zones where companies from all across the world could set up their businesses with some special privilege. And these privileges are 100% foreign ownership, means a foreign owner of a foreign company don't have to collaborate with locals for their business setup. 100% repatriation of capital and profit, this means the companies can keep all its profit. 100% tax exemption on import and export. 100% exemption from local and corporate tax both and even there are no restriction on the recruitment of foreign national labor this means according to free trade zone the foreign companies just have to set up their company and can keep all their profits with themselves but now the question is if dubai is giving companies so much privilege then how they are making money the sheikh of dubai is bringing these benefits for three main reasons and they are de-risking, diversification and creating of an irreplaceable, irreversible global business ecosystem. That's why today Dubai has become one of the best business ecosystem in the world with world-class talent and world-class companies. So it is clearly visible that the Emirate of Dubai is lying a foundation to de-risk itself from oil and diversified into business ecosystem. Today, Dubai has focused its economy on tourism by building hotels, amusement parks, aqua ventures park, underwater zoo and even ski slopes, etc. and become a tourist most favorite destination. As a result, the tourism industry of Dubai contributes approx 11.5% to the GDP of Dubai. This is how Dubai diversified its economy from oil into tourism business ecosystem and maritime trade. Hence, we can say no matter how many resources you have at your place, unless you use it properly, it will never ever create wealth for you. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.